man in Austria was fined for burping too loudly at an amusement park. This man is Edin or Edin Mehik or Mehic. Jake <laughs> says he's uh, Turkish, so yeah. there he is. Anyway, he says that his favorite food is kebab with lots and lots of onions. And unfortunately, I, you already said he was Turkish. <laughs> that actually sounds delicious. Um, now he told BuzzFeed News that it was a normal belch, okay? Uh, it didn't make it into my top five, he says, but the sound may have made an echo because he was sitting under a train bridge. Then he felt a hand on his shoulder, a police officer appeared and ticketed him for outraging public decency by belching towards two police officers from a very close distance. He was cited under Austria's public indecency law, which prohibits disruptive noises and sexual acts in public. So he got fined a little under uh, $85. Okay, so uh, it's good to see that uh, we're, you, the U.S. is not the only place with dick cops. So they're like, oh, you're going to belch toward us? And you're a minority, right? Mm -hmm. In Austria, there's a lot of Turks. I don't know if that plays into this, right? Um, it might in some cases, let's put it that way. They're like, okay, that's it, you're getting a fine. Uh, but it didn't count yourself lucky. If you were in the U.S. and you belched towards some cops in a disrespectful manner, you probably would have died under that bridge. They're like, oh, God, I'm, I was felt under threat. Yeah. Okay, I don't know if he was armed or unarmed, but I got a minority uh, belching in my direction. Mm -hmm. So $85, man, it's a lucky day for you. I feel like if we had uh, cops monitoring belching at TYT, several of the men here would get a ticket. Okay, that, that yeah. might happen. Yeah, well, <laughs> there's there's a lot of open belching happening, which is disgusting. I look, I'm not like a picky, like no. etiquette driven person. No, you guys have seen me on the show. Obviously, I lack etiquette in many ways. I don't want to hear someone burp mm. loudly. You've done it. Bart's done it. Jr's done. Oh it. no, you guys not, have okay. All done now, it. now she's I'm naming names. Naming names. I'm naming calling names. us out. <laughs> okay. okay, but I'm about to call myself out. Okay, yeah. because something happened to me when we were at Current uh -huh. that embarrassed me to no end, and now I'm going to come clean about it. You farted? No, no, I did not <laughs> fart. Um, one day, my mom had packed me uh, her famous salmon, which she makes with like this garlicky marinade. It's really delicious, right? And I was super excited to eat it. I was sitting at my desk, quietly working, eating my lunch. And look, I was drinking soda, so I got a little burpy, but I'm not like belching. I'm just like kind of quietly letting the air out and like moving on with my life. So there was someone sitting next to me, but he was far away, further from me than where you are right now. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he's like, God, does anybody smell that? It's like this weird, like, garlic smell that keeps coming out of nowhere. <laughs> and I was like, I like closed the Tupperware, put it away. I'm like, no, I f what the fuck is that? <laughs> I don't know what that is. At least Jer has the decency when he burps to go, and this is an often quoted line behind the scenes of TYT. Excuse me. <laughs> it's like a sarcastic excuse <laughs> right. me. No, but it's not sarcastic. I feel like he does it like genuinely, like he used to do it from when he was a kid. That's my point. You guys make fun of me for doing it. You guys give me shit for being polite. I know. I think no. He is legitimately trying to be polite when he says that. Well, Whereas sometimes I'll come in the room and be like. Bah. Yes, <laughs> right? he does do that. I, I guess I misinterpreted it. I thought you were being sarcastic, like. <laughs> Excuse me, like no, take this it. whole time, no, no, oh, he's been okay. trying to be polite. Fine, fine. Okay, uh, uh, whereas I apparently am not, and neither was this guy. Maybe it's a Turkish thing. You wouldn't understand. Maybe. Okay, and uh, but either way, if you can't burp at an amusement park, where can you burp? Let him go. You Let him go. You don't have to burp. Like you can find ways of allowing that air to come out of your body without being loud and annoying about it. Like I think he was probably being obnoxious. Yeah, he's a young kid at an amusement park being obnoxious. Wow, if you arrested every kid who did that or find him, there'd be nobody at an amusement park.